Good morning you beautiful peeps, my name is John and welcome to my channel. Today we have the uh, WL Toys 104-001 or the Nuclear Incinerator that I'm now calling it because I think that these cars should have some really cool names. So, spread the word, the new WL Toys Nuclear Incinerator. Anyway, um, it's a WL Toys and there is a lot on this car that they have improved. A lot, 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 lot that you would have seen on my previous videos. But one thing that is still apparent is... Wobble, 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 wobble. And it's very annoying, we all know this. Now there is a way that if you buy slightly thicker bearings on the outer bearing of the wheel, that that will help it. But that means that everybody that's bought this car has to order them on one of the sites assuming that we can get them in that size, get them sent, which ranges in lots of time, lots of money, and then I obviously have to fit it. But I have found, I believe, a way of doing it with something as simple as, which everybody should have, some M5 washers. Now, to be clear, I this is something that I used to do on the 104, no, sorry, the 144001 and the uh, 124019, but, because this is a one-tenth, it works so much better. Let me explain. Moving the camera so that you can see it. I know it's not the usual um, camera angle, but it will be worth it. Did you see that? I just double-clicked that to get it in focus. Holy crud, I'm tired today. <laughs> Let's move on. So, as you undo the nut, as you take the wheel, oof. Then you take off the very disappointing plastic hex. And as you see, this is the issue. See the play on that? I will come up even a little bit closer so you can... Uh... This new phone of mine is great, but it likes to, even when it's on manual, autofocus. <laughs> Trying to leave the bar in there so you can see. See how much movement is there. So, my solution, if you choose to accept it, is you've got to remove the pin no matter what. And you have to undo this tie rod here. Because it just pops off the other end, like just so simply. So, bring that down because you need to get the draft shaft good because that will then allow this to pop out. Okay, now get rid of that just for the second. I'm just going to pop out. So what we would usually do, and what I did on previous models is, which is perfectly fine, is, really, put it that side. Okay, so now that washer is pressing onto the bearing itself. But if you do this, and again, this is only because this is a um, larger car, probably not the easiest way to get this out, is it? Is to take your washer and put that in first. Okay, you can clearly see that. Then put the bearing back in. You can see that the washer is slightly off center there, but that doesn't matter because once you put the uh, drive shaft and everything back in, it will be fine. And if you see, hold my hand there so that it will focus. You see how that's now stuck out? A wee schmidgen a do. Which is all you need to stop the wobbler wobbler. Yes, that's an official term. So, let me just focus again and we will put the drive shaft back in. As I said, we've got that washer there to be aware of, but it should all centre soon. There we go. I'm just actually going to put the drive shaft straight back in now. And uh, put this straight back on. There you go. So now, you take a zip in. You put the zip in back in the oil. Okay, you can just go away for the moment, can't you? And now... There 
there is no more play. The play is almost gone. You need to have a little bit of play there because or else it will be too tight and the wheel won't turn, will it? So, you then. Okay, good, good. You then put the hex back on. Put the wheel back on. Put the wheel nut on and if you're the type of person that likes using thread lock, put the thread lock on. I will put some on later. Tighten it up. Again, it's, do not tighten them all the way up. These cars do not like it at all. Like so. Now, where is my battery? Battery. Probably move that down now, can't I? There we go. Battery. Ta da! And trust me when I say it works so much better. You don't have as much of the wheel slop as you do on the other ones. Now, I'm just going to quickly undo that because I just want to quickly show you on the other wheel I have the old way of doing it. I mean, like I'm all for, I'm all for the wheel wobble, but that's a little bit. There we go. <laughs> okay. You see, and this one's a lot. Oh, let me grab the wheel and not the tire. See versus. So, nice simple fix for the likes of four M five washers. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a success and it removes all of that horrible wibbling, wobbling back and forth. If you liked the video, found it useful, hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you next time. Stay safe. Bye bye. As you can tell, it's very windy here, so I'm not going to record too much, but this is just to show you after I've done the uh, little mod on the, uh, the wheels to stop the wheel wobble. Car's working fine, absolutely fine. If I see anything negative with this, obviously I will, will report back later. But I think I'm, it's just going to be fine. So have a great day today. Take care. Bye bye.